Hi, excuse me, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to get some food for my baby. My baby's really hungry. You can help me with a couple dollars. Anything would help, honestly. Yeah, sure. Yeah, anything, honestly. Like, I'm so sorry that I'm not trying to bother you or anything. Um, how, how much is that? $10. You're giving me $10? You know, I've, all day I've been standing here asking people for money. Not even one person gave me even a dollar. What makes you so different, like, that you're giving me ten dollars? Um, because I see that you have a baby with you. And, um, you know, I would do it, you know, I would want somebody to do it for me if I had a baby with me. Wow. So, it, okay, let's say, let me ask you this. I know you're a nice person, you're a great person. If I didn't have the baby, would that change the situation? You wouldn't help me then? exactly so you that's that's what i'm saying you're such a nice person it's not just because of the baby it's just because that's how you are do you mind if i uh, stand here with you have a little chat i know you you were walking this way probably going yeah, to the store sure. uh, let me ask you this uh where do you live right now i stay at the illumination foundation the homeless shelter it's a homeless shelter oh so you're okay if you don't mind me asking how long have you been homeless for um all in total i've been homeless for like nine years nine years if you don't mind me asking how old are you now i am 28 28 so how old were you if you do the math that's about you were 19 years old yeah and what happened how did you end up on the streets well my mom had passed away from cirrhosis and my dad went to prison so i got I kind of got left out here wow so you had nowhere to go after your family passed away yeah. i mean your mom passed away and dad was in prison and there was no like cousins, auntie, uncle, or anybody that could help you or? I stayed with a brother, but you know, they're domestic violent, you know, they're, they're fighting. I couldn't live with that. So know? the brother was trying to like attack you? Or? No, no, he was just, they're arguing. Like they would always put me in the middle of the argument. So I just, you know, removed myself from that situation and I'd rather, you know. So, so the first time that you came on the streets, did you have to live on the streets or did you have to just go straight to the shelter home? Um, well, me, I thought I could make it on the street. You know, my pride was like being on the street, you know, doing what I had to do to survive, you know, sleeping from couch to couch, you know, sleeping in tents, you know, pretty crazy. So so you, you did sleep, when you say couch to couch, like letting a friend or somebody let you crash on their couch yeah something like that right yeah. like was was that your friends that were like from high school or how, no, how did you know those they people? were just my addiction friends okay so the people that had their own place but they are doing the addiction so did you get involved into drugs too just because you would start living on the streets yeah because or, or were you doing that before you ended up on no, the street? no i started doing it on the streets because you know people get advantage took an advantage of when they're asleep so I would have to maintain to stay up, you know, because I wouldn't have anybody to watch me when I was asleep, you know, so. so oh, yes. So you, you, you're saying that for a girl, it's really hard. Like people try to come, like guys come try to take advantage of you. Oh, yeah. All the time. So how do you cope with that? Like, what do you do? Like in, in those situations? Um, either get a get an animal. Okay. Or carry pepper spray with you at all times. So did you have a pepper spray or did you have a dog? No, I had a dog. You had a dog and he would always protect you from somebody like coming. Yeah, they were little, little chihuahuas, so they barked when, when people were around. Somebody tried to come close to you and they would yeah. just bark. Okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, well, you know what? I, I I pray that nobody has to go through what you had, you know, been through. Because it's not easy surviving on the street, especially for a girl. It's it's terrible. And, uh, I mean, since now you've been living in the, in the, in the shelter home, how is that? Is that really good like you're protected and you're good and yeah they're actually helping me with housing they're helping me look for a job they're helping me you know do my resume and get on my wow. feet so. so they are basically gonna start a new life for you and are you excited for it or is that something you don't want to want yes because i never had a home to call mine you know so oh my god i'm so sorry so. you know again like i said things happen in people's life everybody has to go through situations but you are here and you look positive and you're still you know willing to help me so here come come right here check this out this baby that i was talking about right here um there's actually a hundred thousand dollar cash for you 
there's no baby in there. This was a social experiment. So since you decided to help me, I want to go ahead and do that for you. You're going to either just take the car seat and walk away with it and, and never see me again, you know? I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. All right, have a blessed day. You too, thank you.